What's up, XDA and YouTube? So, you just unlocked your bootloader for your Huawei Ascend Mate 2 and you want to install TWRP, or you already have Tower Root installed and you want to upgrade to TWRP. And this is how we're going to do it. You should already have 15 second ADV installer installed because you had to use that to unlock your bootloader. So, from there, we're going to go to the XDA website, and we're going to go to this form right here. Okay, we're going to scroll down a quarter of the way, and I'll have this link in the description. You're going to want to click download, which is going to bring you to this external site. You're going to click download again here. Now, I've already downloaded it, so we're going to go to my downloads. And instead of searching through all this, I'm just going to type TWRP. And there's my file, okay? This is the file you're going to download. Notice how it says the model number, MT2-LO3. That is the American version of ours. The LO5 is the Chinese version. So make sure you have the American version. And you're going to want to right-click on this. You're going to want to rename it. And you're going to want to delete all this right here. All you want left is TWRP.IMG. Okay? When you're done, you want it's going to be this right here. You're going to want to right click and hit property and still make sure it's a disk image file. Okay. So it is. So we're going to click OK. We're going to want to right click. We're going to go to copy this folder. I mean, we're going to copy this file to your ADB folder. And where that is, is in C drive. And you're going to see ADB right here. And you're going to want to paste it. Okay. I already pasted it. It's right here. Okay. Now you have TWRP copied over to your ADB folder. From there, we can now go to our command prompt. Okay? In your command prompt, we're going to have to go to our ADB folder. So we're going to type in CD space C colon backspot ADB. Okay? Notice how it changed here now. Okay? From there, we're going to want to plug our phone in. We're going to want to make sure that all our device drivers are installed correctly and you can do that by this simple task so I just plugged it in I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna drag this down and see where it says USB device debugging connected that's what we need to make sure is turned on okay we're gonna close our mobile printers that if you have it installed and now we're gonna just type ADB devices if something shows right here see where it shows it that means we're connected and it's reading our phone correctly, okay? Now, here's the tricky part. The really, really tricky part. You gotta pay close attention to this now. We are gonna type some code. Which is this code right here. Very complicated stuff, huh? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag this over and I'm gonna drag this over, okay? Now, with our phone still connected and USB debugging's on, and we've already seen that it's communicating with it, we're going to type in under our ADB folder right here fast boot flash recovery space C colon ADB TWRP.IMG. That's that file we just put there, right? Remember the disk image file that we renamed TWRP? If we would have had all that extra words there, we would have had to type all that, so that's pointless. From there, we're going to hit enter. It's going to say waiting for device. Our phones, they do not re reboot into bootloader automatically. So now, to do, you're going to unplug it, and the way you unplug it is you pull it. <laughs> you're going to turn your phone on, and you're going to hold the power button in, and you're going to power the phone off. And you're going to click OK. Now my phone's already been rooted, but it doesn't matter, you'll see, because you can still flash it without any data loss. Now the phone's off, OK? Nice case, by the way, right? Anyways, what you're going to want to do to boot into the bootloader is you're going to want to hold the power down button and hold the, and the volume rocker down button at the same time. When the phone vibrates and you see the little uh, Huawei symbol, you take your finger off the volume down rocker, and you'll see. Boom, took it off. 
Now you're in your bootloader. Okay, see where it says bootloader status unlocked? Make sure it says that. Okay, from there, we're going to take our device. I'm going to take our USB plug and we're going to plug it in. Okay, and then you're going to see this is going to stay the same. And then you're going to see some stuff scroll down on that screen right there. Okay, once you plugged in your phone, you will see this right here. And as long as you get no error messages, you successfully flash TWRP onto your phone. Your phone doesn't ever change or show you done or anything. It just sits at the screen. still says unlocked. Okay. So, y'all can see this real quick just to make sure it matches up. Okay. So we're going to put this back. Okay. Now we're going to hold this in until the phone turns off. and the phone's automatically going to reboot. Okay. So here's the moment of truth, really. We want to make sure that we just didn't brick the phone. Well, that's a good sign. If you made it this far, that's loading the Android operating system. Okay, so we're going to want to unlock this. Okay, notice how I have no data loss and we just flashed our phone. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is hold in the power button. We're going to pretend like my phone has not already been rooted. We're going to hit the power off and click OK. Okay, Okay, now the phone is off, okay? Now what we're going to want to do, instead of holding the volume down rocker to get into our bootloader, we're going to hold the volume up rocker to get into our recovery. And when the phone buzzes and you get the logo, take your thumb off the uh, volume up rocker and it should boot it into TWRP. So let's try this. Ready? I'm still holding the power button. And voila, magic. We now have the Team Win Recovery Project version 2.8. Okay, from here, you successfully just upgraded your phone basically, okay? And put in your custom recoveries. Okay, now what you're going to want to do right away is you're going to want to click backup. You're going to want to check all these. You're going to want to rename your backup to whatever you want. And you're going to swipe this and back up, okay? If you see, I already made two backups, okay? The bottom one is my fresh setup, which is I just talked about right now, is I basically set my phone up the way I wanted it, okay? And then I made a backup. Then I got bored of it, and I bored of my phone, and I installed Apex Launcher, just a fresh install. And then I made a backup there. And so now, like, as I am playing around with stuff, and I don't like stuff, and I don't remember what I did, all I do is I just click this and I click restore and I'm back to where I wanted. And it takes about no more than five minutes. And you have a restore of your phone now. So, congratulations guys. And you have now successfully installed a custom recovery on your Huawei Ascend Mate 2.